Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, all students in the service, which is targeted to the third, second grade for the English subject. Uh, first semester, our lesson today is Unit 1 Grammar Mega Goal 5. Prepared and presented by Noura As Sufiani. So, all of you are welcome, and I hope all of you get benefit my lesson. We will learn today other others and another the grammatical structure of other others and another and also emphatic do what do we mean by emphatic do or and how can we use them first of all let's start with another other and others how can we use them and what do we mean by uh, them all right now look at the sentence here Many scientists feel that global warming can be reversed. Other scientists disagree. Number two, many scientists feel that global warming can be reversed. Others disagree. So we have two sentences. We have in the first sentence the word other and in the second sentence we have others. What's the difference between them? Why here we use other and the second sentence others while they are the same sentence? In the first sentence, other scientists here, other is an adjective uh, which comes before a noun, okay? Other scientists disagree. So other comes before the noun to describe it. It's an adjective. To mean additional scientists. Additional scientists disagree. Okay, so here it's an adjective, but in the second sentence here, others, it's not an adjective, it's a pronoun that means additional or other persons or things. So other disagree, it means other persons. So here it's a pronoun. And here it's an adjective comes before a noun, but here it's a pronoun, okay? Uh, other, I use it as an adjective before a plural noun to mean additional. Others is used an, as a pronoun, okay, to mean additional or other persons or things, okay? Let's move to another, okay? I know you want to go to Mexico in vacation, but I have another idea. Number two, that was a good cup of coffee. I think I'll have another. So, again, what do we mean by another in the first sentence and another in the second sentence? Focus on the idea here. Another in the first sentence, it's an adjective that comes before a noun to describe it, another idea, okay? But the meaning here is that it gives us the meaning of alternative, another choice, okay? You have an idea, but I have another one, okay? So it gives us another choice, an alternative, an adjective to mean an alternative to something previously considered. There was a good cup of coffee. I think I'll have another. Here, another, okay, it's a pronoun. Uh, it means additional one of the same kind. Okay, so another here as an adjective, another in the second sentence as a pronoun, another here as an adjective, it means that uh, alternative or another uh, choice. But another in the second sentence, it's a pronoun to mean additional one of the same kind that is mentioned before. All right, now look at this sentence and think of it. I think I'll have another beef burgers. What do you think of this sentence? What does it mean? And what do you notice in this sentence? I think I'll have another beef burgers. Okay, another here uh, is used as an adjective before a noun but is it correct to add another to plural or is it okay 
Of course not. I think I'll have another beef burger. Okay. So here, another is only used with singular noun. So be careful about another. Okay. Here we can say other beef burgers, but we can say another beef burgers. Okay. Let's evaluate what we have studied before. Complete each sentence with other, others, or another. He says he's so full of burgers. He says he couldn't eat. What do you think? He couldn't eat other, or others, or another. He says he's so full of burgers. Of course, it's another, okay? Uh, here, another is used as a pronoun to, me to mean additional thing of the same kind, another burger, okay? Number two, you can use that topic for your paper. I have a few in mind for my paper. So, what do you think here? I have a few other in mind or I have a few others in mind or I have a few another in mind. Of course, it's pronoun few others okay i have a few others it's a pronoun here okay because there is no noun before it you can say other number three they like their cats so much that they are talking about going kitten so they like their cats so much that they are talking about going kitten going other kitten others kitten or another kitten kitten here it's singular so we say that it's another kitten it's an adjective added to a noun which is singular okay number four you can keep that pen i have two or three pins in my backpack what do you think can we say that three two or three another of course we have plural here so what we can say we can say other of course because pins here is a noun and other is added as an adjective okay for the noun is that clear okay this is about other another and others now what about emphatic do have you heard about emphatic do before what's the meaning of emphatic do emphatic do means stressed do stressed do means that I use it to show emphasis on my sentence, all right? This is the meaning of emphatic do. Let's see this sentence. I enjoy his company. I don't enjoy his company. He likes to talk. He doesn't like to talk. So what's the difference between those two sentences? If we look at the first one, I enjoy his company, it's a statement or a sentence which consists of subject I verb enjoy and his company an object all right but in this sentence when I say I do enjoy his company also we have a subject and we have a verb but do you think that here the stress is on the enjoy or on do of course, it's the stress is undo, right? Do is stressed. But in this sentence, enjoy is stressed. I enjoy his company. But here, I do enjoy his company. So here, uh, I add do to show emphasis, to show that I really enjoy his company, okay? So I, I add emphatic do. Here, it's an emphatic, all right? He likes to talk. He does like to talk. So he likes, likes is a verb. The stress is on the verb. He likes to talk. But here he does like to talk. I stressed the emphatic do here, does, to show the emphasis that I really like to talk. So here, do can be used before the infinitive in affirmative sentences to add special emphasis. Mm, it's uh, different from the auxiliary verb, if you remember, I do and does, uh, we add them to negative in this statement. But here we add it to the affirmative sentences. I do enjoy to show emphasis, okay? Now look at the sentence here. You didn't call me yesterday. I did call you yesterday. So here we have did in this sentence and did in the second sentence. In the first one, it's an auxiliary verb 
we use it to show the negative sentence, all right? But here I did call you, it's added to the affirmative sentence to show the emphasis. So because of that, we call it emphatic. It's not auxiliary, okay? So we can also use emphatic do to show a contrast between expectations and reality. The reality is that you didn't call me yesterday. Here we use auxiliary. But here, if I want to show the opposite of what you have said, I say, I did call you yesterday. Here I show the contrast. For example, you didn't write your homework. Of course, I did write my homework. Okay, I did write. It means that I want to show the contrast, the opposite of your idea. Okay. Now, let's move to the evaluation here. Match the sentence, beginnings and endings. Okay, we have four sentences. The, the beginning of the sentence and the ending of the sentence, all right? You have to match them. And then, after matching them, you, you have to rewrite the sentences, adding do, does, or did for emphasis. Okay? Now, here we have number one. We don't usually watch TV. So, what's the other matching? What's the other uh, ending? What's the ending of the sentence? We don't usually watch TV. But I say, my friend, animal, but we watched that program Though I fly occasionally, but I manage to finish my homework. Of course, it's B. Okay, how can we rewrite this sentence by adding emphatic do? We don't usually watch TV, but we do watch that program to show the contrast. Okay? So we don't usually watch TV, but we do watch that program to show the contrast. Okay, number two. I'm afraid of heights. What's the correct matching? I am afraid of heights. Though I fly occasionally. This is the correct okay, matching. Okay, how can we rewrite this sentence by adding emphatic do? I'm afraid of heights, though I do fly occasionally though I do fly occasionally number three I forgot to call my friend but I sent my friend an email okay how can we write an emphatic do here you write the sentence but I because here it's in the past form we have to use emphatic do in the past did but I did and we change sent to the infinitive so but I did send my friend an email, okay? We use emphatic do in the past because the uh, form of the sentence here is in the past, okay? And we change the past to infinitive. After did we use infinitive. Number four, I didn't have a lot of time, but I managed to finish my homework, okay? But I managed to finish my homework. How can we add emphatic do here? But I did manage, okay? We changed the past to infinitive. But I did manage to finish my homework. Is that clear? Okay, this is our lesson today. What did we learn today? Today we learned, okay, about other, others, and another. Uh, other, okay, as an adjective before a plural noun to mean additional. Others as a pronoun to mean additional or other persons or things, with uh, both of them with plural. Uh, another uh, as an adjective to mean an alternative or a pronoun to mean an additional one of the same kind with singular. Uh, emphatic do, uh, we can also use emphatic do to show a contrast between expectation and reality or Emphatic do can be used uh, before the infinitive in affirmative sentence to add special emphasis. So, to show a contrast or to add special emphasis. Is that clear? I hope so. So, here, this is the reference for our lesson today. Mega Google Students Book and Teacher's Guide and Google Clip are for pictures. Uh, for more information about the lesson, you can uh, serve the website here. You can contact the Twitter account and call the number and also uh, see the gate, iron gate, right? 
uh, this is all for today hope all of you get benefit of my lesson i uh, hope to see you inshallah next time goodbye for now